हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्टिंग अबाउट ए न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ रिप्रोडक्टिव बायोलॉजी दैट इज कॉल्ड मेन्स्ट्रल साइकिल एज पर थमनील वी नो अबाउट द व्हाट इज मेनार्क व्हाट इज मेनोपोज व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड पीरियड व्हाट इज द मेन्स्ट्रल साइकिल ड्यूरेसन ऑल अबाउट डिस्कस अबाउट इन दिस थिंग फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू द मेन्स्ट्रल साइकिल मेन्स्ट्रल साइकिल इट इज ए रिप्रोडक्टिव साइकिल फाउंड इन प्राइमेट्स लाइक मेन मंकी एंड एफ्स इन इंटरवल ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट डेज ओके इट इज फाउंड इन प्राइमेट्स लाइक मेन मंकी एंड एफ्स इन द इंटरवल ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट डेज देन मैनर मीन्स द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ फास्ट मेन्स्ट्रुअल साइकिल आफ्टर पीवर्टी इज कॉल्ड मेनार्क मेनार्क मीन्स स्टार्टिंग ऑफ फास्ट मेन्स्ट्रुअल साइकिल ओके स्टार्टिंग ऑफ फास्ट मेन्स्ट्रुअल साइकिल इन ए फीमेल और इन ए गर्ल एट द एज ऑफ थर्टीन ईयर्स एट द एज ऑफ थर्टीन ईयर्स means after the attainment of puberty the starting of menstrual cycle Now, what do you mean by puberty in case of girls or in case of female that is broadening of shoulder high pitch sound and the hair in axial and pubic region development of mammary gland and development of the reproductive organ this is the called puberty okay then why it is called menstrual cycle because it is the periodic cycle where discharge of cellular debris mucus and blood from the uterine wall of the non pregnant woman of a sexually matured female okay it is a pregnant woman have no menstrual cycle after pregnancy menstrual cycle stop so it is found in non pregnant woman and it is found in case of sexually matured sexually mature female in the interval of 28 days okay from one means to another cycle begin is called menstrual cycle is called menstrual cycle in menstrual cycle two hormones play important role that is called fsh and ls okay further we discussing about that why it is called fsh and full form of ls okay understood <clears throat> yeah now menstrual cycle in case of female is divided into four phases okay so now i am writing the four phases one is the menstruation phase second is the proliferative phase and third one is the ovulatory phase and fourth one is called it is called secretory or luteal phase okay first one is called menstrual phase or it is also called bleeding phase and second one is called proliferative phase and third one is ovulatory phase or ovulation comes in this days then secretory or luteal phase these are the four major phases in case of female menstrual cycle okay we come to the first phases or menstruation phase or bleeding phase okay in case of menstruation phase or bleeding phase this phase last about 3 to 5 days or it is the starting of menstrual cycle first menstrual cycle starting of 3 to 5 days that is bleeding occurs which a liquid comes from the vagina of the female that is called that is a rupture of endometrial layer 
endometrium layer of uterus endometrium layer of uterus of three layer endometrium perimetrium myometrium the inner layer or endometrium layer breaks down and forms the liquid blood that is found inside the uterus of the female and secreted out through the vagina of the female and it is the cellular debris mucus and some type of things are out from the female vagina okay and it is the rupture of the inner layer okay so it is called bleeding phase then stopping of the menstrual cycle is the indicative of pregnancy if menstrual cycle stop it is the indicative of pregnancy okay and another thing is that called menopause menopause it called the stopping of menstrual cycle menopause means stopping of menstrual cycle at the age of 50 years because decrease of the hormone secretion of fsh and lh follicle stimulating hormone and this is the luteinizing hormone this hormone if the flow if the secretion of this her hormone decreases then menstrual cycle ceases okay at the age of 50 years understood then in case of menstrual flow bleeding occurs then the so female use the different sanitary napkin pads or boom mat pad to absorb this bleeding after 3 to 5 days bleeding phase conti continue then stop then comes to the next phase that is called proliferative phase secondly called proliferative phase in this phase an hormone called GnRH it is called gonadotropic releasing hormone it is called gonadotropic hormone which is secreted from the hypothalamus which is secreted from the hypothalamus which stimulates the stimulates the anterior pituitary which stimulates the anterior pituitary GnRH by gonadotropic releasing hormone secreted from the hypothalamus which stimulates the anterior pituitary to secrete that is called FSH FSH means follicle stimulating hormone this stimulate to form follicle stimulating hormone this FSH stimulate the ovarian follicle stimulate the ovarian follicle to secrete a hormone that is called estrogen okay this hormone is called estrogen okay understood this hormone form that is called estrogen and this phase the endometrium layer now 3 mm thickness because in the in case of first phases the endometrial layer breaks down in proliferative phase now reappear or remaking of this endometrium layer of the uterus that is called and it is found in 3 mm substance structure okay understood now comes to the third phases that is called ovulatory phase ovulatory phase called why ovulatory phase means ovulation on the 14th day of on the 14th day of menstrual cycle on the 14th day of menstrual cycle the LH secretion LH secretion from pituitary increases okay on the 14th day of menstrual cycle LH means luteinizing hormone luteinizing hormone secretion from pituitary increases this is called LH surge this is called LH surge and this LH surge in the increase of the secretion of the LH hormone that is the ovulation takes place on 14th day ovulation takes place ok understood then in our proliferative phase that is 6 to 12 ovarian follicle form but later after two weeks 
द ऑल आर डिजेनेटेड ओनली सिंगल ओबारियन फॉलिकल इज कंटिन्यूड देन फॉर्म्स ओके अंडरस्टूड ऑल आर नोन द ओवोलेटरी फेज इन ओवोलेटरी फेज व्हाट इज ऑकर्स इन ओवोलेटरी फेज अंडरस्टूड देन कम टू द सिक्रेटरी फेज सिक्रेटरी फेज और इट इज कॉल्ड लोटियल फेज After ovulation, the remaining ovarian follicle is turns into a substance that is called corpus luteum. After ovulation, after ovulation, the remaining substance or remaining ovarian follicle is turns into a substance that is called corpus luteum. That is called corpus luteum. The corpus luteum secrete hormone that is called Progesterone. That is called progesterone. After ovulation, the remaining ovarian follicles turns into a, that is called corpus luteum. The corpus luteum secrete hormone that is called progesterone. Okay, understood. <coughs> this NH and progesterone help to make the endometrial layer and the now. The uterus layer become five to six mm thickness. Okay, it is five to six mm thickness. Understood? In this condition, it is the suitable condition for if the spermatozoa arise, then blastocyst or anchoring or fertilization is a suitable chance. This time, that is the suitable chance for implantation. Or if spermatozoa occur from my male partner, then blastocyst anchor. If No spermatozoa occur. This corpus luteum converted into a white color mass that is called corpus albicans. If sperm occur, then fertilization occur. If spermatozoa not occur, then it is turned into a white mass that is called corpus albicans. Okay, understood? This secretory phase is. Last along ovulation from ovulation to next menses. Ovulation to next menses is called secretory phase. Okay, this is all about the female menstrual cycle. We told about the oestrus cycle. In oestrus cycle, it is found in non primates. It is found in non prime. Non primate means Cow, dog, buffalo, and pig, and it is a seasonal cycle found two times a year. Okay, okay, understood. This is called menstrual cycle. Then another important thing is the menstrual hygiene. <laughs> menstrual hygiene means in the continuous menstrual cycle some. Steps we follow. That is called use the sanitary napkins or homemade bed. Do not throw the used sanitary napkin or bed to the outside open area or cupboard or washroom pipe. Use regularly take baths and change the bed after 24 to 50 hours and as per necessary. Do not throw it anywhere and take the rest proper rest to the body and <coughs> do not throw this type of. Use the thing to the outside, and you regularly wash the vaginal surface so you can escape from the different disorder in the vaginal disorder or cervical disorder we found in that of female. Okay, I hope you understood this topic very well. In my next video, I will understood you the different disorder in case of menstrual cycle and the why nowadays irregular period comes. So all you understood about in my next classes. So stay tuned. Keep watching. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.